Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck, where we are covering a Mud Artifacts deck, also known as a No Color Artifacts deck. And it's kind of a little bit of a cheat because we do have black here, um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So Planeswalkers, I appreciate the fact that you're tuning in today. Now, before we get started, we do have a lot coming your way. You can access the portion of the video down below in the timestamps that make sense for you, uh, where we're gonna talk about the uh, strategy and objective of the deck. We'll cover the deck list, the sideboard, how to sideboard in terms of a best of three guide for you, and then we'll go play some competitive magic and best of one and best of three, and then wrap that all up with some final thoughts and where this might stand in the meta. So with that said, Planeswalkers, I appreciate you uh, and thank you for your support. So please feel free to subscribe down over there and additionally like the video. So let's go ahead here and hop right into it in terms of the strategy. Um, so quickly here, this deck is no color. It's all about artifacts. Now, the key win conditions that we do have here are a couple different things. Um, so we can leverage things like Stone Coil Serpent. Uh, we can also uh, use things like Mecha Godzilla. Um, we have Shambling Suit here, which is very powerful. Uh, very, very large creature where we uh, get the power is equal to the number of artifacts or enchantments we control. Um, and partnered with Shadow Spirit, a great win condition. Then we also have uh, Myriad Construct as well as Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Um, so what the key pieces are, we can definitely do well in the mid-range. As you can see, a lot of the stuff here happens in that space, but we also have some top-end support. And then additionally, my friends, uh, one of my favorite land makeups, because we got plenty of Crawling Barons here, um, we got Field of Ruin, we got Labyrinth of uh, Scophos, um, Radiant Fountains, and Unknown Shores. So um, pretty, pretty awesome here. I'm very excited as you can tell to play this deck um, so again it's really about uh, playing this mid rangey to late game in terms of the objective and strategy of the deck we got nice ramp in here uh, with Paladium of, of Mirror um, and a few other things that we can leverage um, in early game kind of support and also uh, smoothing and draw with Golden Egg and Maze Mine so that is what this deck is about um, so if you do have questions or comments let me know down below always happy to help additionally please feel free to hop into the discord server so now we're going to take a double click in terms of what we have going on with this deck uh, as i mentioned we already got shadow spear here which is a plus one plus one gives creatures or um permanents uh trample and lifelink here and creature permanence. Uh, and then also we can, uh, one of my favorite things here is lose hexproof and indestructible. Uh, our opponents, whatever they control, will lose those uh, abilities, um, which is pretty sweet. So we got Soul Guide Lantern here, perfect for removal in terms of graveyards. We can sack it, clear out a graveyard. We got Stone Coil, this guy gets bigger, um, where X is whatever we wanna cast. And, the, and uh, Stone Coil will enter with that many counters on it. And it's got Reach and Trample and protection from multi color a lot of people forget that so keep that in mind golden egg when this enters we draw a card we can sack it at one mana of any color um, or for two we get some life gain back we got maze mine tomb where we can put page counters on it we can scry for one or we can pay two and draw um, and once we hit four of those counters we exile it we have spare supplies here. Um, so spare supplies enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, we get to draw a card, um, and then we can sacrifice it and draw a card. So again, all about finding answers here, having some you know bodies that can get bigger early game, but really then getting into that three drop where we got a good old crystalline giant here where we get a counter among many different things, uh, and it's a nice three, three body. Then we got Paladium Mur, like I said, we have the nice uh, double pump uh, on the mana. We have Shambling Suit here. So again, power is equal to the number of artifacts. Then we got Sky Scanner. So this guy enters we, uh, the battlefield, we get to draw a card um, and we get a 1-1 flyer. Then we have Myriad of Construct. Um, so this artifact creature, we can kick it. If it's kicked, it enters with a plus one, plus one counter for each non-basic land our opponents control. Um, then additionally, when it uh, becomes a target of a spell, we can sack it uh, and create 
a well it will get sacrificed we don't choose uh and create a number of one one colorless construct artifact creature tokens uh equal to its power um then last but not least here we got we got ugin um so again this guy's got a plus two where we can deal three damage to any target we can down x and wipe the board in this case we're not going to wipe anything which is great uh at least in the main board and then second uh for the down 10 we can gain seven life draw seven cards and put up to seven permanents uh from our hand on the battlefield so very powerful uh pretty sweet deck i'm super excited to be playing this um and was was hoping and looking for something like this and glad we found it today this is a platinum to mythic six plus deck uh, i forgot to mention that earlier um so it certainly certainly uh has the ability to perform and do well um and that is the main board my friends now we're going to talk about the sideboard here so we got Tormont's crypt now uh, we can sack it exile all cards from target players graveyard you're going to play this against mid-range decks like a Rakdos escape deck you may play it against rogues uh those kinds of things anything leveraging the graveyard you're certainly going to play this now uh, we got blood chief's thirst um so this can be kicked for three uh if it's not kicked it destroys target creature or planeswalker with convert mana cost for less if it's kicked uh just pick and uh, the big piece here is really against uh, aggro decks, Mono Red, uh, Naya Winata, uh, Boros Knights, Mardu Knights, those kinds of things. We did the Boros Merriman deck yesterday. You guys can check that one out. Um, and that's going to really help us out at this space because, as we mentioned, everything at three drop is really where we get the get the creatures minus Stone Coiler. Uh, then we have Murderous Rider, so we can destroy target creature or planeswalker. We lose two life. Um, so you're going to play this against. Uh, decks that are playing Planeswalkers, anything running Ugin's, uh, like an ultimatum deck, this is a good spot for it. And then additionally, we got a 2-3 lifelinker, um, and then when it dies, we can shuffle it back in, so it's great on the adventure piece. Um, you're going to play this again, also against creature-based decks, the ability to kill something at 3, the ability to reach in and, and disrupt the board is very, very powerful. Um, so you're certainly going to want to play this in the aggro to kind of mid-range space. Then we got Extinction Event. So here we can choose Odd or Even, Exile each creature with converted mana cost uh, of the chosen value. Zero is even. You're going to place against creature-based decks. So primarily, these are going to be things like Mono Red, Gruel Aggro, um, any of the other decks that we mentioned in the aggro space. You could play this against Rogues if you wanted to. Um, certainly, you're going to probably want to play this, this, and potentially that against Rogues uh, as, as well. Um, so really, really, this one will work nicely against... Um, uh, Selesnia decks as well as Selesnia Adventures, um, Counter decks, Mono Whites, those things. Um, the last but not least, we got three swamps. That's right. So here's kind of where it, it does move away from the solo artifact deck. Um, we can certainly get get the colors that we need between Unknown Shores um, and a few other things uh, in this deck um, as well, like Golden Egg if we needed to, um, to get a one color of, or one mana of any color. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you do have a couple of those options, um, but where you're going to be doing this is when you need to enable all these other things here uh, because it's going to be pretty, pretty important for you. So that is what we have in the sideboard. I'm going to cover off now on terms of how we're going to do the aggro, the mid-range, and the late-game matchup, and then we're going to go ahead and play some competitive magic for you today uh, in both best of one and best of three. So first off, like I said, most of this stuff, honestly, is all about the aggro mid-range matchup. Everything else is probably going to be the, be fine. Um, so when it comes to aggro, you're going to be lining up Blood Chief's Thirst, Murderous Rider, potentially Extinction Event, and then you're probably going to swap in the swamps. So whenever you need to swap in a swamp, where I would push it in, to be honest, is probably against Labyrinth of uh, Scophos. Um, the other spot that you could do is field of rune if they're not running anything unique um, that's not a bad spot for you as well to kind of put put things in there um, so keep that in mind that's kind of how you're going to move in the swamps when you need to get access to these things um, but in terms of the early game matchups uh, you're really going to look towards moving out um, I, personally i would probably move out Myri uh, myriad construct it's nice for four to have um, i'd probably move out an ugin we are sitting at 24 lands so you're not going to want to change anything there to be honest so you can kind of uh, that's that's certainly okay i would leave maybe one ugin you can strip out these two and then where i would look to optimize uh, is Soul Guide Lantern if you're not having to worry about the graveyard, which is which is totally possible. 
And then second, um, I would probably either uh, strip out of spare supplies or look at a golden egg. Um, spare, spare supplies is going to be better for you over time uh, because you get the double draw there on the sack, but golden egg is going to support uh, the mono, well, mono black artifact component of our mud artifacts or, or no color artifacts piece. Um, so keep those in mind. So you certainly got the spots that you can do that. Uh, and then when we talk about the mid-range battle, it's going to be the same thing for the most part, unless, and I'll say unless, uh, they're more uh, control magic base so they're casting spells they're they're killing things with things like blood chief as well um, so in that case if it's more rock dose base or leveraging the graveyard you're going to want Tormont's crypt otherwise you're going to do the exact same thing and then when we get to the late game late game you're probably going to play main board here um, unless you absolutely need something to wipe creatures or if you need to exile graveyard Tormont's crypt you will want to board in against uh, any decks like your decks that are leveraging things like Elspeth leveraging things uh, things like graveyard return um, so keep that in mind that would be something you would want to move in and where i'd move that in um, is actually at the golden egg spot uh, unless you need that life gain back um, but that's probably where i would do it unless again unless we're going to add in that that uh, splash of swamp there um, so planeswalkers that is the aggro the mid-range and the late game lineup again just to kind of recap if you do have questions or comments uh, let me know down below you can hop in the discord server happy to help um, and that is the main board that is the sideboard and that's how we pull it together and that is how we're going to play today so if you have uh, any other thoughts uh, please let me know like I said and we're going to go ahead now and play some competitive magic for you here today with our no color artifacts mud artifacts when you name it you got it um, yesterday we did the top 1k Boros Merriment neck more Boros Merriment deck. Um, today we're doing Mud Artifacts. Um, so we're no, no color artifacts, I should say that. Uh, but we're kind of cheating, like I said. So we're going to go ahead here and hop into it. Uh, very, very excited about today's deck. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this for you. Um, so while we're here, Planeswalkers, we covered everything already. Main board, side board, uh, talked about the deck list, looking forward to playing it. Um, I just want to reiterate how much I appreciate your support. So obviously feel free to subscribe down over there and like the video, my friends. And I will keep this deck uh, for a number of reasons because we got two, two cards. It'd be nice to have something different here, um, but I do have access to a lot of draw um, and deck uh, control, which is nice. Um, you know, as always too, I just like to say, um, if you, if you're looking to stay in tune or, or communicate, I, you can please, uh, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well, um, to stay up to date. So the question is, um, I will definitely play this and then I think I go, I'm debating. I'm going to do this first instead of drawing. All right, we'll keep the lands for now. No, they didn't wait. They didn't wait. They went right to it. Um, so ox, goat, bird, cat, snake. We have a thopter. No plus on a Thopter. That's too bad. Um, so we need to figure out how we want to do this. I will play this and get a body on the board. Could have looked, I guess, first. I will keep that. Action from multicolored. Now he's a snake, so this is gonna make this pump go really nicely. So we'll go four here. We'll grab the mecha. Godzilla. Could have used the land. Next turn though we got we got doubling up here. So we can do egg and spare supplies and get some get some things. So they are probably running something that can deal enough damage, so we'll say no, because that's a cleave.
There's the cleave. As this goss giant that doesn't hit. Um, so what we're going to do is let's look. Need a land. Oh, this guy's good, but we need a land. Um, let's do this one first. And let's do that one. Try and get another land here. Oh, we're getting we're getting hammered. So you can certainly get to Ugin really fast here. Um, we have had really bad luck uh, in terms of the lands. So that has been a problem. Let's see what they play here. Um, then we can decide on what we want to do with the Scoos. Uh, obviously they have access to a few things here in terms of exiling and that is painful. And that is also going to be game. That is a bummer. We got we got hose on the mana. We got hose down the mana. Now Gruel Aggro is, is a, a very, very nice deck, so not surprised uh, fully, but um, we'll go ahead here and play our next best of one. Uh, just just unfortunate we did not hit uh, we were we were doing good up until three or four there uh, if we would have kept hitting we could have had a lot of better options uh, to respond we could have blocked uh, on the cleave I was hoping for something more um, but we didn't get there so we go first I am gonna keep this again uh, and we'll go from there we got a two to three and then we we do have our good old Ugin here if we need to if we get there. We didn't make it last time, but we didn't have an Ugin either. There we go. So I would say, you know, given match one, uh, you want to prioritize Ugin and you want to prioritize um, lands to some degree. All right. So now we can make a decision. If we want to keep going, I'm going to do this. All we can see what we can hit. I feel like we're going to hit a Skyclave though, either way. Or, um, ah, no. Non basic lands if they're kicked. So let's do this. Not gonna kick them. Ooh, that's good. So now we need to get to those lands. So we certainly, 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 oh, I think we do this guy first. That's five, seven, eight. So we can get to eight next turn. We'll go from there. It's a mono white monument deck. Ooh. This is going to be very, very, very interesting, to say the least. We'll try it. So they can either bust out Crawling Barons. Um, we don't have all Crawling Barons. We can use Labyrinth to remove it, though. If we need to. There's a blue. Alright, so it's a, the um, UW Monument deck. I have seen this before. I have seen this before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. 
ghost fire. There we go. My if we can, if we can get the ultimate off, we'll see. It's gonna be close though. They can, they can make their barons. Um, they can hit me with simulacrum here. Um, I don't have some of these uh, other tricks that I could have had. Uh, I could have played Sky Spanner. I could have uh, split the difference on Stone Coil if I had wanted to. So they're giving up. They're close to giving up their barons. Oh, wow. Now that is super interesting. I'm kind of surprised. They might have something there. I don't know. Uh, how many? Seven. Oh, boy. Uh, one. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go. We got plenty of lands. Five, six, seven. Uh, I think that's Summit Seven. Now we can we can hit their crawling barons with Field of Rune if we want to as well. Um, so we can't forget that. They're gonna have a wipe the board though. So we just gotta keep that in mind. And we also have a Crawling Barons. Oh, they're going to get rid of my Ugin, though. Uh, first strike, let's go to attack and figure out what we want to do here. Um... I don't want to lose that guy yet, but it's very possible. Well, we'll just throw everything at Ugin. And we'll go from there. So let's do this. I'm going to keep some of these guys back here uh, for now. I'm going to go in turn. 
so a couple of things here too. So you could obviously put Monument in this deck. Um, you're gonna gain a lot of value out of that as well. Um, so that's a consideration for sure. Now, the thing about this deck that they're going to have an advantage on, on me, is they certainly have a Dance of the Mance. Um, and right now they can pull two back. Oh, they gave it to us. Woo, they didn't hit what they needed. We're good. We beat the UW Azores uh, Monument deck. So not, not bad, not bad. Good, good matchup. It's kind of funny seeing all the artifact versus artifact deck. Um, all right, here we go. Let's go into our last uh, best of one match. So we did uh, we did lose the first one. We won the second one. So we'll see how our, how our next lineup goes. Again, certainly a suggestion there in terms of the monument. Uh, and you could, you could definitely make it work. Uh, and this one, you'd probably want to run maybe like two of them. Um, so Hadron it is. So again, I like it. So we get smoothing, we get we get to hit a few different things. So I'll keep this. And we're first again, I think. Which is which is certainly helpful today for us. I'm gonna hold Stone Coil back until we see what they play. Um Ah, I'm on a red. Now, now I'm like, oh, I probably should have Stone Coil in there. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we want to do this first. Want to look. Don't need that. We need to go into our upkeep. This is going to probably be a tough matchup for our best of one here because we don't have, again, uh, we don't have good value against aggro until we get to three. And on top of that, uh, we don't have good lands. Oh boy. We'll see. Whew. All right. We're okay. We're okay. We're going to survive here. Um, question is, do we go Mecha? Which I think we do. I think we do. Ooh, there we go. I'll take that. I will take that. Not going to block, though, so let's see what they do. Um, we're certainly going to want to go back into full control. And look again because we want we want that land. If I had first strike, I'd block. Because I don't have first strike, I'm certainly not blocking here. Oh, we missed the uh, missed what we needed there. There we go. At least we got that now. Uh, I will make one of these. We'll look now. We don't need that. Ooh, trample. Question is, do I hold it up? Uh, they double strike. I'm going to leave it for now. I don't need to fully put the pressure on yet. I just need to survive. That is a lot 
to take that off the board. Um, and I certainly, I'm going to keep the snake. I'm going to, I'm going to chomp the, that guy. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Um, now we can go to five. Let's look here, get some of our life back. There we go. That's why I didn't chump this guy. Because we can make him bigger. We can make him bigger. Ooh. So let's do this first. We're gonna double up. Um, here's why. There we go. Because even if he swings with bone, it's not gonna be lethal. And then we can use Animal Sanctuary next time uh, and start start doing some damage. Making a really big Stone Coil Serpent. In our field of ruin, we can take Castle Embrath off the field if we need to. And right now, if we hit Ugin, we can wipe the board. Because so we have enough. Well, I can jump this guy. Also, the Crawling Barons. I think Animal Sanctuaries, too. Let's see, yeah. What's that? Protection. There we go. Lots of things that we can do here, but we're out of cards. It's never, it's never good, and no bonders. It's too bad. And we do, we do have, uh, so we do have this one. So that was actually um, unfortunate. So we could have called that a miss, a mistap there. So how do I want to block here? They went early on that, which is fine. We have a few different things. I wonder if they ran, they're running into issues here. Uh, we'll find out, Hadron. I may actually make it, make the crawling barons 
because uh, we can do that as well. Pump crawling and block. Um, this is to. We'll have to see. Then we can. Keep, then we have to keep this up. Um, then we can just keep removing uh, whatever they have on Embercleave from battle. I would block like this. Block here and block there. I'm okay with that. Yeah, looks like they're having problems. Internet problems. Let's pass for strike damage. That's not going to work. That's okay. Um, well, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to make this guy bigger. There we go. I can deal with that. <laughs> as long as they don't hit... Uh, the only thing they can play is uh, Fervents and pop Embercleave on the Fervent. So that was a nice top deck. Let's see if we can bring this bring this home now. Audrin got some lag. Oh, we are we are golden. Oh, I would quit after that too. Sorry, my friend. We pulled it off. We beat an aggro deck. Um, so not bad. We uh, we lost to a Gruel. I think it was the first match. Second match, we played uh, Zorus Monument, uh, which I haven't actually run a deck on. It is on my list. Uh, and third match, Mono Red. Um, so we came out pretty successful here today uh, with our Mud Deck. Ah, now, nah, Mono, no color artifacts. Anyway, um, that matchup, though, you're definitely going to bring in the Swamp and, and go from there. So uh, with that, let's go ahead here and dump and jump into our uh, our uh, best of three uh, with our no color artifacts deck again yesterday did the 1k top thousand boros merriment deck you guys can check out but this is what we're playing here um so thank you planeswalkers uh, to kind of recap there we went uh two and one in best of one um so outperformed uh my expectation to be honest so pretty happy about that now uh, we got corrupt here um so with that said though uh, before we get into our match, I just want to say thank you as always. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there and uh, like the video. Um, so let's go with this. Uh, I do like it. Um, we have a couple of key pieces. We didn't use Labyrinth of Scophos. Uh, like I said, we could have used that a uh, couple of the matches. But we do get some nice things here. I like having Ugin early on the top end. We just got to keep looking. We got the smooth. We can look. Um, I'll sit on Stone Coil. Uh, maybe for a turn, we'll see. Um, it's just going to depend on what we play and, and what we hit. I don't mind still playing just a little bit here. Because this is probably an ultimatum deck, is what I'm, which is what I'm reading here. Yeah, certainly an ultimatum deck. Oh man, they got me a little worried that they had a counter there. I I want to make sure. Want to make there we go. Okay, I want to make sure that we hit the lands next turn. If they tap out, we'll play Paladium. If not, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play. I need to tap out. Uh, we can still do. We try it. We'll try it. Juari. Nope. All right, we're good. Uh, let's see what we got here. Don't need that. Now we do have a land, so I can wait. Hmm. 
No, we're not kicking it though. Was it seven to kick? To make this thing real big. I don't think I need to though. We'll look. We'll keep that. We'll, want, we'll definitely make sure that we want to draw next turn, probably. So it's Sultai. Sorry, it's not. It's not a <laughs> ultimatum deck. Well, it could be emergent ultimatum, I guess. Um, we'll do this. We'll make this guy five. They're close. They're getting real close. But they don't have anything in their graveyard. I'm going to pull two two guys out, though. I believe it's what it's Abzan that pulls from the graveyard. Emergence, uh, pick pick two. Pick two, deal with it. There we go. So we could have pumped, but we'll wait. I'm gonna pull up with Maze Mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven. We just need one more. Oh, it's too bad we didn't, we didn't get that uh, murder to stay on the board. Would have been helpful. What'd they pitch? Blood Chiefs, huh? There you go. They certainly are playing control. So I don't, I don't think Ugin's the play yet, honestly. We just make this guy real big, and then we see if they, they probably still have a couple of lemonades, though. Oh, we can wipe the board. Uh... We can wipe the board. We have to. Um, we don't have a choice. We go. If they have another one of those, we're toast though. Ah, there it is. There it is. Um, so tap all non land permits. 
Now, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now uh, we can certainly pump this guy twice. It's not going to be big enough. Uh, we can make we can make him bigger. It's not going to matter though. We'll do this. There, Titan's Nest deck. There we go. Oh, we could have, we could have totally, totally clipped them. Um, except they got three open, so they're probably okay. We could have had game there if we would have played that uh, sooner. That's okay. We still got two damage in the air. Or now. They do have lethal though. All he's got to do is remove the stone coil and then uh, hit in with barons as well as the other guy here. So we'll see what they do. Raw uh, four. Uh, interesting. So right now, um, in terms of the sideboard, there really isn't much that we're going to bring in here. Um, we don't need a direct kill. Uh, there's stuff. We know what they're playing. Um, we know the importance of getting Ugin in much faster here. Um, they're probably going to have a kill spell on the Sky Spanner. That is very risky, my friend. Very risky. On top of that, they might have forgot that we have another crawling barons. Shoot. Guess we didn't need an attack in there, huh? So we can do two things. I think we have enough. We'll see. So we go four. I still have four. But I, I need to cancel this. We go one two three oh shoot we're just shy oh we shouldn't have played that shoot 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 we had it otherwise 
Um, cause we could have played go post and removed four, four and this two, four here. I think a block on three of them. Actually, no, they can't cause that's going to be, let's, well, maybe we're okay. Let's save a kill spell. Because Crawling Barons cost four. So, unless Titan's Nest is going to work with that, then they're okay. But we can actually feel the rune it too while we're at it. So, I think we're okay there. So, they either need a kill spell or they need to be able to block here. Well, actually, they need a kill spell. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's painful, my friends. That is so painful. And we need to go here. So they have lethal no matter what. Um, let's see what we're on for time. I'm doing worse. Um, so they have lethal no matter what here. Um, all they need to do is actually swing in with barons and also just go from there uh, because I can only block one. And as long as barons has eight damage on it, which it does, uh, I can't do anything. Um, so they're getting real greedy now, which is fine. I'll let them play greed. I'll let them burn their clock down. Um, and then we'll get ready for our second match. They did not play that right. Um, so I hope I top deck and Ugin and wipe their board and they don't have a counter in their hand because that would be hilarious. Um, so we're actually going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have enough, by the way. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, so we can't draw anymore. Uh, we can remove from combat, though. I don't know why it keeps hitting that one. I, this is the problem with auto tap lands right here. Uh, when you have stuff that you can play. Oh. That is terribly annoying. Because what I would have done is block there, and then I would have removed that guy from combat, and we would have been just fine. Now they're now they're worse than me on time. They have plenty of time. I'll let them play it out too, so I can see their deck. Busting out my triggers. We'll make them earn it. We'll make them earn it. Then we'll go to the next match. So we know what they're playing. We just got to get to Ugin fast. We'll be fine. Um, we know that we can actually slam our uh, Loran guys faster. Uh, because we now know that they're uh, late game with, with Titan's Nest here. Mid-range to late game. Um, so, which is just fine. Uh, we also could run an extinction event if we wanted to. That is one way to wipe their deck. And yes, we are going to do that. So I am going to play three of these. Um, we will dump. I 
do like keeping that though. We'll dump three of these because it just did not run for us anyway. Uh, the rest of this we can keep. Keep. This is going to be helpful. Uh, we'll go from there. Soul Guide Lantern could help. It's just going to slow down Titans. Titans just slightly. Um, what did I pull there? Do I want Murderous Rider? Actually, we want to run Tormod's Crypts because then we can disable Titan's Nest. Um, so that's a better play. We got four of these things. So what do we want to take out? Shadow Spear will keep. Uh, these things are fine. Let's dump the spare supplies. Well, let's go two. I'm going to go one, two. I actually think this guy's stronger there though, than this one. It's good on good finisher. Uh, we'll keep this. Do we want to keep myriad construct a four? Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, here we go. Now we're playing <laughs> mono black artifacts with no mind <laughs> All right, we'll go from here. We'll play first. I will keep this. We'll keep that back for now. Oh, there we go. Now remember though, they are playing they are playing counter magic, so we gotta keep that in mind. We do have this guy now. To remove stuff. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Keep that. All right, Tormod's Crypt in play. Boom. Oh, there goes Ugin though. That's all right. We'll beat him to death with the Shadow Spear. Titan's Nest yet. Here we go. They got their five already. I'll certainly crack Tormod's Crypt. So every time they pass, we can make this guy bigger, and we can stay on um, task here until they do something else. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to play this the way we need to play it.
Oh, you don't want to play this and draw your hand out this turn, huh? Oh, corrupt. You're so funny. So funny. We'll take the two damage. I am sorry. It is hurting me pretty badly. Every time you deal two, I'm I'm keeping the clock here on, on my barons anyway. So we don't we don't have to worry too much. Now that I got that, that's even better. As soon as you drop past two, I'm gonna hit you hard. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not four and four yet, but I can double up on crawling barons. So now I am winning on the life battle. No. Auto tap. Stop doing that. You make this so hard. The moment, the moment we get. Fake it there. Uh, the moment we get back. Why is it not letting me equip? I'm doing something wrong here, huh? Mm. Oh, end of combat. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. That was just weird phasing there. Cycle boon? What are you doing? Six, one, two, three, four, five. You had six. Two impatience. Because you know, you know, you know. Oh my gosh, I got extinction event. I can wipe you and then I can hit you with crawling. That's what we're going to do. You have the counter. Oh, tough decision. Do you counter? I don't know. I don't know. Played like you had to. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. Don't worry, you keep building that. Keep building that up. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come for you. Now you have to block. So now you're gonna lose two chip damage. You gain one. I can always attack and pop Shadow Spear on. We're going to be good. That's fine. I can live with that. You will take 
all non-land permanents. So here's what we do. Uh, I do this. Go to two, we do this. So this stays out of the way. I don't attack in with that next turn unless I have lethal. This still has equip. Let's see what they do. Sixteen, nineteen. Sixteen, nineteen. Uh, what can I do here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can pump, but I can't make it big enough. Uh, so we go next. They'll steal Shadow Spear, but that's fine. This is this is a super super duper match here. You can take it. It's gonna save you a turn. You gotta have lethal. Or a kill spell or exile. They already tapped everything. Not gonna have lethal. Even if you exile, you don't have lethal. 20, you have 20. Unless you have a shark. Do that. They took my Shadow Spear first, so that did not work the way I thought it would have. Oh, I thought it was tap permanent. Oh. Still not lethal.
they had too much life. We're pretty much hosed. So this is unfortunate. We needed an Ugin. We needed another uh, wiper. They had the block on us, um, unfortunately. So I think we're gonna be GG's here, which is a bummer. And we'll just get rid of their graveyard for fun. Because it's fun. <laughs> Alright. So, unfortunately, did not do well here in our best of three match. I'm going to give it one more shot um, in best of three today. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I was not, you know, this one was not a good matchup. So, the deck obviously struggles. Uh, against more control to be honest um, you definitely need that Ugin on the top and I think Monument would have made a huge difference the ability to get the life game back get some value in your casting um, get more of that ramp in there too uh, off your artifact lands um, but maybe that was just a challenge that the individual had in terms of craft or whatever when they were when they were making this. So um, certainly, I would also say you probably want four Ugins in this deck um, to to also ensure what I would say some more of that late game success. All right, so let's go ahead here into our last best of three match, as well as our last uh, best of three match in general today, or last match in general today. Um, so we do got Crawling Barons. I'm going to keep this. Um, we got our turn two, turn three. Uh, we can keep feeding. Uh, we still haven't used Labyrinth of uh, Scophos. Well, I, I think I did use it last game on the on that shark, but oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. We did go two and one in best of one, which is pretty good. Uh, like I said, I'll perform there. Um, you know, it's going to get evened out a little bit more in best of three. But again, this this was a uh, six plus win platinum to mythic deck. So that does mean that it won at least six games in a row uh, in best of three, which is still very impressive. Particularly in this meta, so... Maybe I'm just uh, terrible at piloting it. You never know. So it looks like we're playing a mid-range deck. It's going to be my guess. Absolutely. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's put that in there for now. Let's get this on the board. I might go turn four. I might go turn four crawling barons. I'm debating stolen coil. We can wait on. Um, it's not going to be as good there. And this guy's not going to be as helpful either. Well, he can make a real big one. So it's a Jun. It's a Jun deck. We'll see if we can keep the mer. Yeah, it's done. It's too bad. It's like a Jun Jun control deck. Good news is we'll just pump crawling barons here until we need some defense. Tax or blocks, that is a huge issue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Murderous Rider nukes this guy. Lots of things nuke this guy. So let's see here. I will trade the Elder, absolutely. That's fine, I can deal with that.
The two point swing is going to get annoying pretty fast. We'll see if we can recover though. I may need to throw in the black in this um, for some of those kill spells for sure. And my own, excuse me, murderous riders here. One, two, three, four. Could have used this, I guess. Pulled them out. Probably would have been better value. I do want to make my barons bigger, though. Probably could have sacked that, too. There's the baits. So let's make that one bigger now. Oh, are they gonna kill that one too? Whew. All right, that could have been that could have been a bad mistake. Uh, we can go six on this guy though now, can't we? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here, Mr. Elgar Gargaroth. And we'll give you the draw. If, if we do get to Ugin, we'll be fine. Uh, but we gotta get to Ugin. Probably have a kill spell here. Just getting crushed in the best of three today. Well, we must have been pretty lucky in our best of one. We just can't get... I mean, we go... I've gone through so much of these decks. Uh, we're not good there. Um, I can certainly make this guy bigger. We can keep... We could remove, but it's not going to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not going to do what we need to do. Um... There you go. All right, let's go into the next match. So we're gonna move in our exiling cards. We're gonna move in the black. Um, I'm also gonna. I'm considering moving in Tormont's crypt, but we'll keep. I think we're okay. 
Um, I'm gonna dump that guy. And we'll dump two fielder runes, two of those. Got 23 lands, that's fine. There's plenty in there. Um, soul guide lantern we can get rid of. I will dump two of these, two eggs. I think that's pretty good. And we'll go from there. Apalure. Now it's nice that we are playing up uh, in diamond, which isn't bad, but we gotta we gotta get our game straight here. We certainly have the opportunity to win this, um, so I'm not not too upset about that. Titan's Nest deck was actually, I think, a harder matchup for this one on the on the pure control side because they might even try and shift out a bunch of stuff uh, since it's all direct damage. But we'll find out. We just need to get that going, huh? We need to find a source. I don't need that. As much as I like that, as much as I want it, I can't use it right now. It's not going to help me. There we go. That's what I needed. We'll save this to draw. They need their greens. And we got plenty of other stuff we can go work on here. Let's keep looking for that again. Three, four, five, six. Want the draw instead. You also can hit with Murderous Rider just fine. Now, I could have down four and wiped the board, but I would have lost that guy. I have great 
We also have Blood Chief, so we can we can do that. I probably the wipe would have been better there. Uh, at this point. Yeah, the wipe would have been better since we lost we lost our Ugin anyway, and we got rid of a lot of stuff off the board here. I've got better friends in the wild anyway. Do we do it? I think we do. I think we do it. If they top that could kill, they deserve it. There it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's five. So let's do this. We'll go five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I still have crawling barons. Two crawling barons. Was odd. We'll play it. I could put a lot of pressure on though, too. Um, Unless they got a cleave. Ah, we're good. Yes, 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 it worked. All right, we'll keep the board. We'll do it again. Minus, we got a second chance on our on our Ugin there. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, this deck, this deck does better still against those more creature-based decks like we saw here uh, in that second match. So that was good. Oof. Tough, tough, tough. They're probably going to be set now for um, for the Ugin. So we just got to be got to be a little careful on that. Yeah. 
then we know what we got to hit a layers. Garooks and the big guys. This is a perfect starting hand, my friends. Very, very nice. Uh, love no hand starts. All right, we'll keep this. Not going to hit the black, but we're going to have to try. Um, I think we drop the animal sanctuary and we'll go there. I got plenty of, there we go, plenty of starts. We'll probably go Maze Mine first, actually. We need to stay on lands curves here. Oh, Ugin, big hit. That's a big, big hit. You can stop my turn two. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Certainly not a bad one. There we go. Now, the thing that people forget here, too, is, um, you know, we can play this and sack it to get the color that we need. We have to pull that off the board right away. We want this to be at least four. Oh, they ran Necromentia. <laughs> that, that's going to be a tough one to come back from. <laughs> They ran Necromentia. We'll still play it. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. That's pretty funny. You gotta give him gotta give him some credit for that. We can still win. We can still win with my favorite here. Never give up, never surrender, my friends. Crawling Barons is gonna bring us home. I'm going to make it bring us home. lands oh this is a horrible horrible spot to be in That so we'll keep going. I knew that was going to be the thing. I knew it was going to be the thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, man. I knew I was baited, but I didn't have a choice. Oh, we need something else. Ah. You cannot run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, go to six. Okay.
run or hide. Oh, it's a bummer. I got one turn here. Uh I knew that. I knew it wasn't going to block. I didn't have a choice. Uh, we will kill this. Another day today and best of three my friends um another ugin in this deck i would for sure do i would also um i would also for sure uh put in monuments uh, particularly because it is pretty creature heavy uh at that three spot that's going to help you in the mid-range game it's also going to give you continuous value off your creatures later or some of those creatures aren't bringing the value um, that you need. So good in best of one, we end up going two and one, terrible in best of three, we went backwards um, and went from, we lost both matches. So we did split with the more creature-based deck, which makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead here and take a look at the deck, my friends, quickly. Um, so again, this is the six plus win platinum to mythic, uh, no color artifact stack or, or um, <laughs> mud artifacts as we called it here today. Um, but quickly, um, what we got going on again is quite a few things. It's a very weak early game. Um, we do get some creatures here in the mid mid game, and then it's kind of like a stalemate really until you get Ugin. Um, we saw tons of activity. Uh, in the lands, which is pretty important, and also again one of the reasons why I always preach crawling barons. Couldn't fully play around everything, um, but you still get that. You do get some of that value, so you can keep that in mind. Uh, again, two big things here for this deck. I would I would probably drop in another Ugin. I'd probably pull in a monument. Um, it, it seems weird. I felt flooded actually quite a bit uh, in most of those lands, and then when we did shift over to black, uh, the double up just absolutely killed us. Uh, um, so, and that's with both Blood Chief's Thirst and Murderous Rider. Um, so, a consideration that I would have here too for this particular deck is. Um, if you're going to play the doubles, you're going to want to have more options to, to get there. Unknown Shores punishes you. It's a great idea, um, but some of those things. So those are kind of the, the couple of the biggest things I would change on the stack is really you know helping optimize that sideboard, give up on your main board a little bit. Great concept. Again, ran, ran really nice uh, for us in best of one. Um, just couldn't cut it for best of three. So uh, Planeswalkers, super fun deck. I really, really enjoyed Enjoyed it in terms of the meta um you know in best of one it's probably at best mid tier two and below um i think i just ran really nicely but he and also got probably a little bit lucky against mono red and then in best of three um certainly struggled we talked about some of those challenges we should have had a we had the better match on the kind of mid-rangey ulti deck um, which makes sense that's where this deck should do a little bit better um is more that some of those creature based stuff at times just given the sideboard um, but we gotta we gotta kind of freshen those things up again for best of three i'd say lower definitely lower on the tier tier two side and and certainly top half of probably uh tier three so very fun deck really really enjoyed it i like these kinds of ideas um, maybe this will get stronger here with chaldeum uh, but we'll see um so i'm keeping i always like to wait till all the spoilers come out and then i take a look so um just my just my fun because then it helps me prep for a draft and other things better so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it really had some fun a little bit of frustration there with trying to get uh, over the top and kind of 
capitalize on some of these matches, but it is what it is. Um, again, certainly fun and best of one, best of three, a little bit, a little bit more of a slog, a slug through fest, um, but that is how it goes. So um, that is magic, my friends. Enjoy. I hope you have fun with this deck. I certainly did. Um, I definitely liked the best of one. So um, with that, with that said, Planeswalkers, truly appreciate your support. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there and uh, toss me some likes. And you obviously can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, stay up to date on content like this. All right, Planeswalkers, we'll see you guys again soon. Stay safe, take care, a lot more coming your way. And until next time, Mithras out.